Welcome to a small series on sliding mode control. In the next three videos, we will define the system. We will take few cases and simulate them. We will take a system, say system zero and define it. Imagine the system as follows. The system is mass on wheels. The system is constrained within one dimension. It can move either on the right or on its left. The value of position increases as it moves on the right side. Currently it is at 10 from the origin 0. As the system is moving towards the right, position velocity acceleration increases in the positive scale. We will refer to this diagram over and over again. To summarize, the system is defined as a body placed at 10 units from the origin, can be propelled in either directions. Force and acceleration is used interchangeably throughout the videos. We will define this system in form of a differential equation, starting with the definition of variables. Position is defined with variable x1, velocity with variable x2, acceleration or force with variable u. The variable u is the input to the system in the form of force which will propel the cart in either directions. Again, as we know that the time derivative of position is velocity and the time derivative of velocity is acceleration, we will write the following differential equation. It shall also be noted that the total acceleration in the system will be sum of input and disturbances. If any external disturbance is present, in the form of force or acceleration, then that shall also be added. To summarize, this system can be defined as x1 dot equal to x2, x2 dot equal to u, if u is the only external input in the form of force or acceleration. Otherwise, x2 dot equal to u plus f, if there is a disturbance in form of acceleration. In the subsequent videos, we will use u as the input to propel the system and f as the disturbance.